how to attach fabric on a vintage aircraft wing, this time on the Big Sky Stearman Show. Okay, let's first test fit the aileron and sand down any rough edges on the plywood step. Test fit the wing to the fuselage. We add felt to our leading edge because over time the metal leading edge can shift and cause cracks or wrinkles in the fabric. Plus the felt protects the fabric from all the nail heads. Another thing to do is to add chafe tape on any of the sharp edges around the wing. So, the trick with the felt is get your spray adhesive and we'll spray the leading edge and then we'll spray the felt and then we'll apply it and try to race against time. Okay, we'll come as far as the wire lugs and put it down and then we'll figure out how to cut around these. So, let's go. Oh, oh this, is, this is a different type of spray. <laughs> you uh, yeah. sprays in more of a mist. Okay, we've cut cut these out and it'll fit fine. Now we'll glue this down. Racing tape. Start it off. Okay. Show us how it's done, right? Okay, so the trick is you want to go from inside the rib and over the top. Yeah. So that the loop goes over the rib. And then we go to the next one. Yeah. Go down. So by doing it that way, you don't get uh, a double up of fabric mm -hmm. on the outside of the cap strip where the, mm -hmm. the fabric covers. So you can do it loose the whole first way and cut it, and then you go back and tighten it, tighten it, and then you staple it at the end. French just cut back two inches from the felt, which will accommodate the glue seam overlap, the bottom fabric and the top fabric. Okay, we've laid out the fabric on the wing, to made sure to have at least a foot extra on the root end and the trailing end, mm -hmm. the tip end. And so now we're gonna use our polyfiber 
products to attach the fabric. We use poly tack and we, with this two inch gap that we made on the leading edge metal, a structural part, we're gonna create the first seam of the fabric and glue down this first two inch section all the way. It says to glue about 12 to 18 inches at, at a time since it dries pretty quick. And the trick is to put it down pretty heavy and then wait like 10, 15 seconds so it gets tacky, but not much longer than that. And then put your fabric down and let the glue soak through and make sure it's completely saturated. Start here and come this way. And I will, I'll start here and go your way. So we wait 10 seconds. I think that's been 10 ish. Okay. okay, so if you want to just line yours up, we don't want it to go over the felt. Just make sure it's saturated. Now do we try and get as many of these air bubbles and stuff out? Yeah, we want it smooth. Um, so like, like there, there's, it's not completely saturated, so I'll put some glue there and just push, push it through. It okay. What about like an? We'll come back there? to this because okay. we need to cut that out. Okay. Okay, and I'll just push a little glue through there. But I don't, you don't, you don't want to let the glue go anywhere yeah. else besides the glue joint. Yeah. Okay, now that the leading edge is attached, we will attach to the trailing edge. So we're going to trim it down so that there's at least an inch, a little over, over an inch of a seam to, un, to underlap under the trailing edge. And then, then we'll work on the aileron bay. Okay. So now that we got it, I'll just get that out of the way. So we're gonna be gluing this under the bottom side here. So I'll trim the edges. And then we wanna make it in doable segments. So you, you just so notch a little 45 so that it will flap over? Because we're gonna be gluing it on that side too. Okay. Just so it's out of the way yeah. right now. Okay. So I'll, I'll put this into just three segments. one at a time. So we're gonna just Basically put it on thick. Um, just about an inch, so just kind of imagine an inch, I guess. Just going on the bottom side. Yeah, so just go to your spot and then we'll wait 10 seconds. Okay, so now we'll, yeah, we'll kind of just tension it a bit. Okay. And then just put yours down. Kind of, yeah, start in the middle and go out. Is it, it's feeling kind of tacky. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I'll put mine down. Now do I need to worry about that? No. Line? Okay. So we're just gonna make it kind of tight as much as we can. And, oops. Saturated. It can overlap underneath. Did we need to add more, do you think? Or? Oh, that looks pretty good. Okay. okay, now we'll work on the aileron bay. For the aileron bay, we will be attaching to the wooden stringer and glue it to that flat spot. And then when we get the top fabric, it will come over and glue to that flat spot as well on the stringer. And then we'll put an aluminum strip screwed on to hold it secure. Okay. 
Now we're ready to put the fabric on the top side, but we have to attach it to this two inch seam here and then fold over that side. And Brent is prepping the edge of the fabric by cutting off this rough, rough edge so it'll lay smoothly. Get a shot of that. Good pinking shear action. <laughs> I can't quite see because. Oh, okay. <laughs> good. New angle. New angle. Oh! <laughs> there we go. These two holes, really, the flying wires? Or yeah, flying uh, wires? wire lugs. Wire lugs. Okay, so mark. I won't cut all the way just in case this goes down. Yeah. So on these, we go mark and mark. The base. underneath it so it's okay. And then this time. Yeah that was even even a little long. Okay. So just cut it there. Mark the base of this one and it's kind of at an angle. And then I'll show this off and see how over here. This one is a little closer. So it's just kind of a rough cut, so we'll put, pat we'll put a patch over this whole section. Okay. We've cut the strut fittings and the wire lugs through the fabric, so now we can lay flat. And then we'll start with the step area and attach this part. We flipped it over and now we're going to attach the upper fabric to the Avalon Bay stringer. So now we need to do the wing tip and we'll do the bottom side first. So the technique is we want to make this fabric curve around the tip bow. So we'll get our iron, make sure it's 250 to 300 degrees. With iron hot, we start out here with holding tension and start shrinking, shrinking the fabric out here. All the way around. And then I walk back, pulling tension and running the iron down towards the curve. So then, so I just keep doing that, holding tension as I come closer and closer to the tip bow so that it actually 
and iron. The fabric's smooth. You have to hold the tension, otherwise the fabric wrinkles. Okay, so I'll keep working on it. And we want this kind of wrinkle free. And then we can cut it and glue it down. And now it's all smooth around the outside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a lip of fabric that'll glue on the inside of the tip bow. So I'm just gonna cut the width of the tip bow fabric just out inside here <laughs> and then glue it down. So the bottom side is glued to the inside of the tip bow. I'll let that dry for at least 10 minutes. I might use the iron to take out some of these wrinkles and just smooth it out as much as possible. Then we'll flip the wing and do the top fabric on the bottom. Now the fabric is on, we'll let it sit overnight so the glue can dry good. Then we'll put the aluminum tack strip on the aileron bay stringer, and then we'll iron it 250 degrees both sides, then 350 degrees both sides, and then it's ready for rib stitching. Okay, thanks Brent. Good job. Thank you. That's how you put fabric on a wing. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching the Big Size Sermon Show.